Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hardcore series, and today we are actually at the perfect time to go for some turkeys. You guys know that I've been grinding turkeys pretty heavily recently, so I was not about to pass up on the opportunity to take out some turkeys here on the Hardcore series. And luckily when I jumped on here, we are just about at the time that I like to be for hunting them. I honestly was expecting to have to wait for a while, but it turns out we're at the perfect time, so hopefully we can end up finding some turkeys, and if not, then at least we can look for some black bear too. Now one of the reasons that I wanted to come out here for some turkeys, not only for the fact that I've been grinding them on my other account, but because they give a ton of money and a lot of experience in a very short amount of time just because of how many turkeys you can find in one area. So I'm really hoping that we can get a bunch of them today and get a ton of cash and XP built up and hopefully get ourselves leveled up a little bit more. But before we get any further in this video, let's go ahead and toss up all of the rules for the Hardcore series for those of you that have not watched it before, because we do have our own unique set of rules for this series versus just when we're normally hunting on our main account. There is a lot of things that we have changed for this series to make it a little bit more hardcore and realistic. Obviously, it's not meant to be so hardcore that it's not fun anymore but just enough to give us a little more of a challenge and see how we can do with stuff like a limited HUD and things like that. So we just got ourselves a warning call from a turkey and oh my gosh, that is so many of them. There is all of the turkeys. We got at least one of them there. Uh, it sounds like there's actually going to be a couple that might land near us, hopefully. Uh, we got a shot off on that one. And I'm hoping, yeah, we got a bunch more coming in. That's another one down. Oh my gosh, there is just so many turkeys. The chances of, of us hitting a lot of these is pretty slim, so... Just going to take advantage of the ones that we can take down. Uh, we're definitely going to have to have our dog find most of these, because there's no way I can remember where all of these went down. But that is a huge amount of turkeys. This is kind of what I was hoping to see, but I was really wanting them to be on the opposite side so that we wouldn't spook them off. Uh, Let's have our dog track down the rest, otherwise we're never going to find them. We actually just got a level 4 our dog, and we have at least three more turkeys down, so we should be able to get our dog leveled up even more from tracking all of these down. But this is why turkeys are actually a pretty good way to get money and XP. Uh, that Tom gave us 200 XP, along with like 1100 cash, and the female gave us like 800 cash and like 150 XP, so they're super, super good. Um, that is high bleed rate. Uh, he should be able to find him shortly. And yeah, there is turkey number three. This one's just a female. There was one more male somewhere over here, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, right there. I wasn't able to spot this guy, so hopefully it ends up being big. And it is at 450. Both of those turkeys that we took out, or both of the toms, we're 4.50 scoring. Those are really big ones. Extremely close to diamond. Hopefully we can have a few more like that on the opposite side of the lake. And as far as I can tell, there is some turkeys right there. However, there seems to be only females as of now. We might have a few males hiding, but right now all I see is females. And hopefully we're able to actually hit some of them. And we did finally get one. Took way more shots than I was hoping for though. Okay, so there is a couple more turkeys tucked back. Oh my gosh, that bear. Low there, sir. That is a second one down, and this bear just keeps going back and forth. That is another turkey right there. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get it. It's kind of hidden. And yeah, we definitely didn't get it. However, we got it right there. There is the first of the turkeys. Just a small female. There should be two back here now. And we're going to have our dog track both of those. Here's one of them kind of tucked away in the trees back here. And the last one should be in relatively the same area. I think at least. And yeah, it's uh, hiding in this bush somewhere. It's actually, I think, the biggest one that we've killed so far for the females. So there we have another turkey zone. It looks to just be a couple of females as far as I can tell. I don't see any toms. So, we probably aren't going to get any big males out of this group, but I'm wondering if there's some that we're just not able to see yet. Well, there definitely was a couple that we didn't see before, but they, once again, are just females, so not really anything too crazy. That sounded like a turkey, though. And it is. 
I think we hit the tree though, so that's not gonna help us much. Now, I don't know where to aim when we're zero for 100, because that's the... Oh, well, I guess that. I guess we aim with the first dot on the Hyperion. And that should be the end of those turkeys. Unfortunate there's no males, but we did get a few females down, which still give pretty good cash. Here's one of them, 3.50, and we should be getting close to a level up, I would imagine. It's been a, a little while since we have leveled up, so I would imagine we have to be getting close. We got two more turkeys to pick up, and hopefully they're going to push us over the XP required to get to the next level. That is one of them. Now we just have one more. I'm very curious uh, what type of differences we're going to be able to find between the current turkeys in-game and the Rio Grande turkeys once the brand new map comes out because they did say there were some differences and just off of looking at them from the streams I can't really tell what the big difference is so I'm kind of curious to see what the major differences will be what type of fur types we'll be able to have for them little things like that I'm very very curious Ooh, that is a bunch of turkeys right there once again all females not a single Tom in sight just hens that's quite unfortunate, but as I've said with the last few locations that were like this, that's still cash right there. It's still cash and XP, and that's what we are primarily after today. And we actually finally did get that last one. I honestly did not think we were going to hit a third one because I ran out of breath. I'm not used to the low breath. It's been a little while since we've been on the hardcore account, so I was just not used to running out of breath that quickly and wobbling so much. But we did manage to make it work and get a third turkey down. So we are actually very close to leveling up as I thought. We should be able to level up off of these three turkeys that we have down. I would imagine we just need one more after grabbing that one right there. So let's get our dog on the trail and see if we can figure out where the next one is. And there it is along with the third one too, so this should level us up. And there we go. We got ourselves the next level, so we have one skill point available. Which means we can probably level up something that we need. I'm trying to think of what is going to be the most important. Honestly, I'm going to go with soft feet. This is a very important one to have, so we definitely want to get it as fast as possible. Oh my god. Gosh, that is so many turkeys. Oh my gosh, that is an insane amount of turkeys. So I'm glad that we have a stand set up down here because we are about to take on a lot of turkeys. And if I didn't have this stand, there would be so many zones gone and deleted. That is so many of them. Almost Every map I've noticed has a honey hole for turkeys like this. This appears to be where we got it. On my main account, we have a couple lakes that have a ton of turkeys. One of them being this one up here near Dinosaur Hill. And the other ones being these two lakes here and then this one at the top left. They all seem to be really good, but it looks like on our hardcore account, we actually have this lake with a ton of turkeys. So let's try to figure out how far away this is so we'll know where to aim. Um, it looks like 256. I don't even know where I will need to aim for this. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess there. That's definitely not where we need to aim. Probably right there then. Yep, that's the one. That's actually a decent amount of turkeys down. We got, I think, four or five there. And if we get a chance at some more, we'll definitely take them too. But it's looking like all of these are going to continue flying away. But we got a decent amount of the toms down, at least. So let's go up and claim them. I'm hoping that one of those 9 to 11s will be a diamond. They seem to make diamond quite a bit at level 2 when they're 9 to 11, so there's a pretty decent chance we might get one. There is also a bighorn sheep just kind of chilling here, so let's real quickly take that out. 
as a little bit of a bonus kill. Because we definitely want to take out as many animals as we can along the way for future respawns and also just for the extra cash and that is a bunch more turkeys right there. Where did all of you come from? Um, we can definitely shoot at least one or two more. Um, they are not going to make it easy though. In fact, we're probably not going to be able to get any more. Oh, I just remembered something. We use soft points only for this series, which means I don't think we killed that bighorn. I'm going to guess we had shoulder blade and didn't get into a lung. I completely forgot about that. It's been so long since we played on this hardcore account that I completely forgot that we use soft points. So that's actually quite unfortunate. We're most likely never going to see that bighorn again. But we do have a few of these turkeys down. This one is a four scoring one. This guy right here is a 4.20, which means one of these ones over here is the bigger one. I don't know which one it is, but one of these is a 9 to 11 weight, and that was him right there. That's another big one, 4.50, just under 10 kgs, but not quite a diamond. Very close though, and this one is just a 4, so that was a much smaller one. I'm glad we were able to catch the turkeys at this lake though, because this is a really good one. And we are actually moving into mountain lion time now, so... We might try to head up to my favorite mountain lion and turkey lake, which is up here. Now, in order to be able to claim it, we're going to have to reveal the outpost through this lookout point. So, I guess we should probably get to hiking. After way, way, way too much walking, we are finally closing in on this lookout tower up here. We didn't really see too much coming over. I did shoot one female turkey kind of near where we started, but other than that, there really has not been much game throughout this area. An elk passed us, but I wasn't able to get a shot, so we just didn't show it. But we are very close to this lookout tower, and once we grab this lookout, we can finally get the lodge that's down in this area near Dinosaur Hill. So from what we have seen based off of what EW has shown for the brand new map, it does seem like the brand new Rancho Del Arroyo is going to have the tallest lookouts or some of the tallest lookouts in the game. And I thought Silver Ridge Peaks were tall, but it seems like the new ones are much taller. But that is another lookout unlocked, which means we can now go down to one of my favorite lakes and get the lodge that's right next to it. I am super excited for this. It's going to open up an amazing lake for mountain lions and turkeys and elk also. So this is going to be pretty awesome. Oh, that sounds like some turkeys, and it indeed is. Where did the other one go? There he is. We actually got ourselves a tom right there. That is a pretty sweet surprise on our way down to this outpost. That did end up just being a small male, but I thought I heard some more. Maybe not, but we do have that other turkey down here. I believe that is it right there. So we will grab this, and then we'll head over to that lodge. That is a nice little bonus on our way. Here we go. We finally managed to make it over to this outpost. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Now we have one of the best lakes on the map available to us. Finally. And there is still a little bit of time left to hunt mountain lions. Maybe about 15 game minutes. So we're going to go up to this lake and see if there's anything here. I'm hoping that we'll find at least a couple. I definitely hear something, and yep, there we go. That was not as good of a shot as I was hoping. I don't think we even hit the thing, unfortunately. Uh, I really hope that wasn't a big one. Otherwise, that's really unfortunate. Um, we can't actually see yet because we don't have high enough tracking level, sadly. So we're just going to have to hope that that wasn't a monster. And if it is, hopefully we'll find it another day. Unfortunately, it appears that most of the mountain lions have left. I did spot one kind of over here. Uh, I actually see some turkeys running away from it, but there was a mountain lion over here. It was a level 7, and it was stalking, so we're probably not going to be able to get any mountain lions. So let's just take out this bear right here. It moved right as I shot. That might have been bad. Although I think it's going down. Yes, it is. So we did get vitals. And there is another one, actually. Let's see if we can get a shot on that. Let's hope that hit. It's so hard to say, but I think it might have. No, it definitely didn't. That's quite unfortunate. 
But there we go with the bear that we did end up killing. Left lung shot, 15.30 female. Now, we may be at the end of mountain lion time, but we can now change the time because it just hit 1830. And one of our rules is that it must be 1830, uh, between the hours of 1830 and 530 for us to switch the time. So I think what we're going to do, and I'm probably going to end up doing this quite a bit in this series, but we can go to turkey time, play through turkey time, then hunt mountain lions for the rest of the time, and then we'll be able to switch the time again. And that's honestly going to be a pretty good way to make money, I think. You really have to improvise and find new methods with uh, this type of a series, and I really like that. It definitely has made me think of different ways that I can make money and get trophies in Call of the Wild, because I can't just switch the time constantly to hunt a specific species. I actually have to go out and hunt stuff in the meantime while we're waiting for the time to go to where we need it. So we are most likely only going to get to kill one turkey at this location before there would be too much hunting pressure, so we're just going to kill one of them and then we'll set up this ground blind that I brought with me because I definitely want to have some form of a hunting pressure reduction at all of these main turkey locations. And since I've got a bunch of hunting blinds left, we're going to use those. A little bit, uh, a little bit more cost efficient than buying stands. Well, I didn't expect to hit that, but we can all hope. And that actually, well, we got that one at least, so that's one turkey down. Uh, we can't really shoot any more here. So let's see if we can get a blind somewhere up here. I'd like to have it kind of on this spot so that we can see down there. Okay, yeah, this is going to be perfect right here. Provided it'll actually stay and not get deleted, uh, this would actually be a pretty sweet spot. It's about 200 meters across. That's pretty much perfect, I'd say. But here is the turkey that we smoked in flight. Just barely clipped its tail. Uh, not even sure how that would have killed it, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Now for this location, we're actually gonna do something a little bit different. And this probably won't be a permanent thing since we are limited to four tents per map in this series, but I'm actually gonna take a tent and put it up here because the bulk of our turkeys are on this side and when I run up here they just end up flying past me and that's not exactly the way we want it to go if we're trying to farm the turkeys for cash so we're gonna put a tent up there and approach it from a different angle oh okay so they are actually on the other side and oh my gosh there's a bunch of black bear too so many black bear and turkeys so I thought they were on this close side, but you know, I bet we deleted the zone that was on this side because of how many of them we shot when they were flying over us. And now because of that, we have a ton of them over there. That is an absolute ton of turkeys. Oh my gosh. Just look at how many there is. This might be one of the best turkey zones we have on this map. I am extremely excited to get to hunt this zone more. So we're definitely going to put the blind over here. Um, we're going to have to spook them off when we place everything, and I can't really shoot very many without it deleting the zone, so that's a little bit of a tough situation, but I guess we're just going to have to spook them, sadly. But we can shoot one of them first. So I think we're probably going to go for that guy since he just showed himself. This is not going to be an easy shot. I'm not exactly sure where that shots is where the shots are going that was interesting maybe if we yeah we definitely didn't hit anything there we go we finally got him that took way longer than it should have but it's not easy without zeroing distance and no HUD so I'm just gonna blame it on that there we go we got ourselves a stand right there now so, or not a stand, but a hunting blind. So let's put the other one away, grab this tent, and head over and claim our turkey. You know, after looking around a little bit, we probably could get a better angle on the turkeys from over here. So we actually are going to put a tent up. I know I've changed my mind twice already, but after looking at it from this angle, this is definitely going to be a much better way to attack these turkeys. 
So we're going to stick our tent somewhere up here and then put a blind over in this area too. Uh, the closest turkeys gonna, are going to be right on that marker and the farthest ones are going to be well out of the uh, distance for spook range when you spawn in a tent. So we should be okay if we just set our tent like roughly up next to this tree. I think this should be good right there. And now for the blind placement. We're going to put it right here, if we can find a spot, and there we go, maybe not. I'm going to blame the dog for that one. There we go. Much better. For those of you that are somewhat new to the series, the biggest reason why I show everything, including me placing down blinds and tents and stuff like that, is because this series is meant to be not only like a hardcore challenge for me, but also kind of a beginner's guide for you guys. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what goes on in my mind when I make certain decisions and why I do certain things, uh, why I like to hunt certain areas or certain maps. I try to go through as much of it as I can in this series and I really hope it helps you guys out, maybe teaches you a few new tricks or shows you some new spots that you've never seen before. Because I really do enjoy helping you guys out and making some informative type videos. But here is the last turkey of the day. It is a 4.30, 9.20kgs. Looks like we just barely got it on the run. Not too bad, so we did manage to get ourselves up to 85,000 cash today and we really didn't even kill that much. We shot a few turkeys here and there, but primarily we were just getting to locations that we needed to get to, uh, getting stands set up and stuff like that, but just from what you guys have seen in this video, you can see why the turkeys are probably going to become the main source of income for this account right here. It's just crazy how many of them you can get in such a small area and how many you can take out before they spook. It truly is incredible and most likely I'll do a full video very soon talking about how amazing turkey are for grinding cash and XP because I never knew that they were so good and just recently it's just shown to me that they are amazing for it from all of the grinding that I've done with them. You can make so much money in such a short amount of time and it truly is amazing. But we're going to go ahead and leave the episode there. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of the video, what you might have learned from this video, or what you're excited for with the brand new map. But with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!